Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to part two of Wow I Have a NES Prototype Game. Uh, I'm sorry it's been so long. I just I really had to do a little bit of research on this because when it comes to opening up a game, I know two things. How to clean it and how to change the battery. Like in a Zelda game when it has battery backup. Other than the, other than that, I really can't tell you, you know, what chip or what 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 this part of the board does and what this chip does, so I had to do a little bit of research. In fact, I watched Rue from Clan of the Grey Wolf, who's got an awesome YouTube channel. Now, he did an Earthbound one. I can't really go into that much depth because he has so much more knowledge on this subject than I do, but what we can do is just open it up and see what's inside. That should be fun, right? All right, so let's open this thing up. So, let's pop this sucker open, and see what we have. That's funny, it's making a beeping noise. Probably won't happen. All right, so let's pop this sucker open and see what we've got. Um, uh, a board with no chips. That's very unusual. First, no, I'm just kidding. It's actually on the other side. And voila. And just to let you know, whenever you're up on a board like this, you need to ground yourself first by touching something metal. Otherwise, there's a slim possibility, not likely, but a slim possibility that you could actually short out the chips and when you open up something like this. So that goes with anything with electronic. First of all, the first big glaring thing you're going to notice if you know anything about the inside of a Nintendo game is that this right here is the board itself is actually twice as big as a normal bow board. A normal board will actually come to right about here in any Nintendo game. Um, obviously this is so they can put more of the EP ROM chips into it. Um, EP ROM chips are these right here and uh, what EP ROM stands for is uh, erasable or programmable. Erasable programmable basically means that uh, since this is a prototype you know it's not a finished product you have to be able to go in there and if there's a bug or whatever to be able to erase whatever's on the chip and fix it and then put it back on. Um, by erasing it you actually take off these little paper covers right here, these little stickers, and uh, you shine uh, light, UV light I think, into uh, the little hole and it erases what's on the chip. So um, other than that, um, I really don't see anything unusual. Um, if anybody else sees anything unusual, um, let me know, but you know, we just got the three EP ROM chips and um, obviously the brain of the uh, of the game right here, um, it looks to be just a typical prototype, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Well, that's that, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing and uh, showing the love. So, thanks again. Take care.